faced with left-leaning councillors and a commie Prime Minister Trudeau that want to defund police, march in BLM riots and ensure that 20% of the country are left sick on the streets, John had no choice but to take out the trash. Just as I am bagging my rubbish and putting it into this nice closed plastic container, John, the mayor of Toronto, has moved the entire drug problem to his own bin 51, just as I'm doing. America has a special place, complete with extraterrestrials. Canada has its own, with our own aliens, the 51 Police District of Toronto. It is a perfect location, as all the homeowners are Chinese that can't speak any English, so they can't write letters or complain to anyone. You just shift all drugs and crime off to their neighborhood. In Toronto, there were safe, what they called safe injection sites, which are actually just supervised injection sites. Um, five of them are within the boundaries of 51 Division. And I believe they're putting in five more, all within the boundaries of 51 Division. Oh, my gosh. These are areas where they have a legal exemption from federal law to do whatever the hell they want. That's terrible. That all needs to be yeah, shut so. down. Well, you would think, but the, uh, the people who, who believe that they're doing good, the politicians of the city, are just they're, they're slowly killing it. Well, they're killing the, the people. The it's this is terrible. Component. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just you're, all you're doing is rewarding bad behavior by allowing them to do more and more drugs. And these drug like dealers them. are garbage. I mean, they they they're violent yeah, and, and yeah, they're yeah. terrible, and they're they're making huge amounts of money. Yeah, and the and the prosecutors of the city have said, "Don't bother arresting anybody for simple possession of drugs because it's not going anywhere." Well, I mean, look, if it's marijuana or something, no problem. Sure, of course, there's enough legal no, drugs it, around, but it, it, these are hard, they, they illegal have, drugs. Yeah, yeah, these are all synthetic. Yes, yeah. all very the dangerous. Organized crime. Yes. So this this is what you're dealing with. You're not dealing with the, the politicians. They're, I don't know why they're not making the right decisions. Um, obviously, none of their kids have been affected by this. The entire area is now controlled by Somali and Jamaican organized crime that run into safe injection sites if they see police coming. As police are told by city councillors not to go there and disturb those nice people selling or taking drugs. Organized crime has truckloads of fentanyl, cocaine and crystal meth brought in weekly. They carry out executions by way of hot shots, double or tripling dosing an addict to make the murder look like just another accident. Stand in any high-income public area like a park or street corner for more than 10 minutes, as I did, and you immediately are approached and attacked by several dangerous Jamaicans or Somalis on high-speed e-bikes. No laws exist there. There are many police on every street corner, and they just smile and clean up the death from overdoses and stabbings after the fact as their hands are tied. Justin Trudeau's courts release mass murderer drug dealers the same day anyhow, so why bother arresting them? Cam H and other sham hospitals no longer help drug addicts, as why bring any half-dead addict there anyhow? The problem needs to be fixed with a harsh crackdown on all dealers to bring the supply of drugs to zero and force treat all addicts to save their young lives. They cannot get off by themselves and are just begging for help with none available. Crime is tough to contain. However, as it is going into schools in other areas, taking over all public houses and needles are everywhere like the ones I found on my morning jog in the upper class waterfront area of Sugar Beach. It is a humanitarian crisis of epic proportions, starting with brain-dead Justin Trudeau at the top, coming down to equally negligent Doug Ford, Doug Downey, and Christine Elliott in Ontario, and ending at the mayor's office that makes no effort either, other than point the finger elsewhere. Millions of Canadians sick, tens of thousands dying every year. No problem. We will contain the garbage in Alien Area 51. Well, at least as best as we can.